This car is a BMW Z1. It was the first of the Z series roadsters and the forebear of the Z3 and Z4. Produced in limited numbers between 1989 and 1991, this car we have here is a 1990 example. It's another iconic model for BMW. It was the first time they introduced plastic body panels mounted to an exoskeleton type structure beneath. The idea at the time was if the owner wanted to change the colour of their car, they could simply pop along to the dealership who would swap over the body panels for a different colour. I wonder why that idea didn't catch on. It also featured HID headlights, which was the first time for BMW that they had fitted them to a production car. Of course, we can't forget the iconic vertically sliding doors, which appear like magic and disappear into the sills of the car for access. What? <laughs> Different, isn't it? Um, not for wearing a miniskirt, if I may say so. <laughs> and even now, I just can't work out where it all goes. It's like a disappearing trick. And um, it, it's because I think it sort of curves away, but there can't be much space um, underneath. So, so the sill, this part here, is much higher than it is on any other car. I must have opened and closed these doors ten times at least. They are seriously cool. The power plant is a 2.5 litre straight six borrowed from the E30 325 and mounted 20 degrees to the right to accommodate the very low bonnet. Interesting car, I think you'll agree. In this episode, we're once again at the H-Town Classic and Dub Club monthly meet. Link to their Facebook page below in the description. We've been to a couple of these meets in the past. In this short video, we will show you how to install an ABS speed sensor on a BMW 3 Series. Although the car here is my M3, the process will be almost identical for the whole of the 3 Series.